Hi folks, welcome to The Bridal Show, and we are excited to be here today at the Moorhead Conference Center. With us is Joy Brown. How are you doing today, doing Joy? Doing great, doing great, thank you. Good, good. <laughs> well, tell us about this exciting facility and what you do here. We're a little bit of everything here. Okay. We can do, we can start from the beginning and work toward a beautiful, extravagant wedding. So it's a very good facility as far as the versatility of the facility. So, okay. and so what is your specific role here, Joy? I am the manager of the facility. I um, book all the events. I okay. make it a point to be here for all the weddings and receptions because I work with the brides and grooms from the very beginning till the very end. So um, I, of course, on the side, I schedule the staff and all mm -hmm. that to make sure security's in place and all that. But, you know, the weddings, there's something about them that makes you have memories of past and what you wish you could have done then and got, give ideas to them so and that's yeah. nice yeah very helpful and uh, so are you a longtime resident of Moorhead or where are you from originally I'm originally from Beattyville okay. and I came here to college and I've been here ever since okay so. and you probably work with a lot of people you know that are planning weddings do you see friends and family member come in throughout Moorhead to do their weddings we do where we are in between Lexington and Ashland I see a lot of brides and grooms that you know, meet in the middle. This is a middle point to them. Their families from Lexington and their families from Ashland, and they meet in the middle and have a wedding here. A lot of people are from uh, go to college here that aren't even from mm -hmm. here, and they want to get married in the town they met. Oh. So it's kind of a romantic place, but you know, a little bit of a slice of home too. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, can you think of any specific wedding event or anything that stands out in your mind? Oh, there's so many. Um, <laughs> we had a um, last September. We had a, a Mardi Gras parade in front of our building. We there. were just talking about New Orleans. <laughs> there you we, go, New Orleans. We have a Brown County Arts Center that's in our, our, our in our town. It's right up on Main Street. The bride and groom were married up there, and then they Mardi Gras parade with the brass band and everything down to here to the reception. Oh, that is so awesome. We won't, we won't forget that one. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 This facility is amazing. About how old is it? How long has this uh, conference center been here in town? Six years. So we are. We celebrated uh, our five-year celebration last year. We had a big, big celebration, and this year we're entering six years. So, it's it's came around. There was a lot of people that didn't know about it. A lot of brides and grooms that have their bridesmaids. It's a referral. Refer this person. Oh, refer this yes. person. So we always treat the bridesmaids and groomsmen a little bit different because we want to make sure they come back too. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Great. Yeah, and uh, this room. What's the capacity in this particular room right now? The way it's set up. The way it's set up is 404 people. So um, if we do it banquet style, our table seat 10 people. And if we do it banquet style, you're looking at about 200 people you could get in here. So. Okay. so how does that compare to other rooms in the conference center? Well, the good thing about our rooms is the walls will open up. Oh, okay. So we could seat about 800 people in the whole facility. That's a big so, wedding. Yeah, that's yeah, huge. So, and we do that a lot. We'll have um, weddings in one room and a reception in the other so that their traveling uh, family doesn't have to, you know, leave the location and come to another place. That's we offer shuttle service from our facility to the hotel district and but a little bit of everything. This room right here, we have actually hosted weddings and receptions in the same room where they'll get married close to the stage and then they'll come back and go out maybe for a receiving line mm -hmm. and come back and it's reception hall. Do you guys ever have live bands or music up here? Mm -hmm. We do. We yeah. have live bands. We've hosted concerts and everything here and especially you know, with receptions that's a good location for it because the, this room comes with a stage so that's great head tables have been up there DJs have been up there the cake cutting's been up there that's <laughs> awesome that's really neat I love how it has the old theater feel mm -hmm. even though it's a nice new very clean facility that's awesome right and you know even with the walls and everything you, we don't let anybody hang it on the walls mm -hmm. But it's, it's almost home type, you know, chair rails and, you know, very subtle colors mm -hmm. that mix well with whatever color people chose. That's great. Yeah. That was a really wise planning, I would think. Yeah, so exactly. if someone wanted to have their wedding or reception or both here, how would they contact you all? They can just give me a call. I've got an 800 number and also they can email me on, and we have a website too. Okay. What is that 800 number? 800-654-1944. Okay. Um, and our website's moreheadcc.com. Moreheadcc.com. Mm -hmm. Great.
experience the best Chinese food in Lexington at Happy Panda. Located off Lee's Town Road in Tally Center, Happy Panda features a large menu for both dining and carry out. We have over 30 lunch special items under $6, as well as combination platters priced under $8. Your next delicious meal is just a phone call away. Call us today at 859-388-9996. Happy Panda, the best Chinese food, fast. Do you guys have a kitchen here to where outside catering can come in, or how does the food work out here? We have an exclusive caterer on site, mm -hmm. um, Lundy's Special Events out of Lexington. They yeah. actually have the uh, contract on our facility. Um, they will come in and we meet, uh, have meetings with our clients and get everything situated, and then they'll bring the food from from here or cook it here or whatever. So <laughs> we, we've posted some interesting food events. Well, that's mm -hmm. been a big thing with brides is stations, where they'll do just a little bit of um, maybe seafood and mm -hmm. meat and pasta and everything because it gives a little bit to every mm -hmm. guest that comes to the wedding. Maybe a chocolate fountain in yes. one area. Candy stations like are big now. Like so. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> and in the stations, do you sometimes have a roast beef carving or steak we carving? We do. We do. Okay, I'm getting hungry just thinking about mm -hmm. this now. Me too. <laughs> Well, and uh, approximately how many weddings do you guys do here a year, or weddings or wedding receptions? But we're averaging about three or four a month. You know, in some months we don't have any because we're booked with conferences or anything. Mm -hmm. um, some years we have a whole lot of brides that come to see us, and some years we don't. So we host a, a bridal show in October here. Okay. So that kind of gives people a feel for what we can offer because once they get in here, they don't realize it's as big in the inside, you know and what all we can do. So. Yeah, well, when's Excellent. the date of the uh, bridal show that you guys are doing? October 6th. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And uh, and is that gonna take place in this room? It's actually, uh, we open up the whole facility for it. Wow, mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> Limos out front and all the good stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just a region, basically a regional bridal show so that we can feature all of our region because some people like to get married out on our lake mm -hmm. and then come here for reception. So we offer that too because we're also the tourism office. So Okay. And is yeah. there information about that bridal show on your website or yes. can people contact you? It's off of, uh, off of our website and also we send out mailers through the knot.com. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> the knot.com, the K-N-O-T dot com. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, just making sure. <laughs> And welcome to Lexpon. Lexpon is the only online coupon company that is devoted to its customers in Lexington as well as Central Kentucky. We have amazing deals on everything that you need as well as everything that you want. Look, we're all looking for ways to save money. Why not stretch your dollars with Lexpon? Just sign up below and start receiving your daily deals. It's time to save some serious money. So what are you waiting for?
finally, a television show for brides in the bluegrass. Now that you're engaged, it's time to begin the process of planning your wedding. And that's where we come in. Each episode of The Bridal Show features the very best local wedding professionals, including interviews and interactive demonstrations of the services they offer. Our show is a wonderful way to see the latest fashions and make the process of planning your special day much easier. The Bridal Show. Only on WTVQ, Channel 36. So Joy, obviously involved with the tourism and all that stuff, what can you offer to families that are coming in town for a wedding? Um, we have a lot of people that come from out of town. We can um, book their hotel rooms for them. We can do hotel blocks and reserve mm -hmm. it on the wet in the wedding's name. Uh, we get special rates because we are a tourism office as well. Very so helpful. that helps out brides that are trying to save money and actually book their hotel rooms for everybody. And then, like I said before, we offer a shuttle service from out at our hotel district. It's about three miles from out there to downtown, and then we'll offer it on the way back. So it's helpful for people that are traveling, and mm -hmm. most people do travel to here. Uh -huh. And so. did you mention that there's an outdoor area where some people do weddings too? Yes, okay. yes, Cave Run Lake. That's our most famous, that's what Moorhead is known for is Cave Run Lake. Okay. Um, a lot of people like to get married out there with just the pristine and serene place out there just to be calm and then they come here for a good good party. <laughs> so, and like I said, the Round County Arts Center that's here in our downtown, it's a good opportunity for people to do something in a unique venue. So. Okay. Yeah. And uh, rate-wise, just estimating, when you think of a facility like this, if you were in Lexington or Cincinnati, would probably cost quite a bit. Um, are the rates a little bit more reasonable here than the larger cities? I think they are. We rent our rooms on eight-hour blocks. And if you wanted to rent, say, the whole building for the, for the eight hours, it's $1,400. So that's pretty reasonable, and we do all the setup for you. We don't rent per oh, chair or per table. We set it up, and I work with the with the bride and groom to say, email back and forth until the room gets exactly the way they want it on the on the diagram. And that way, when they come in the day to set up the day before, we offer that as well. They can come in and it's ready to go. Wow, so that's really great. We want to make it as comfortable and as fun for the bride and groom as it is for everybody else. So. Definitely. So, you know, I'm sure you see a lot of different floral arrangements, things like that. How do you work with those vendors? Well, I have, I think Pinterest has become everyone's favorite opportunity because I have a lot of brides that come in with Pinterest pictures. <laughs> um, we have about four florists in town that people have used, but they've also brought in their favorite. I've seen a lot of brides doing their own flowers. Wow. And so just to save a little bit of money, especially mm -hmm. in the economy the way it is now, but a lot of people will use these florists and I base them on what the contemporary florist is in town and what the traditional florist is in town because mm -hmm. everybody's got a different view of it. Definitely. <laughs> well, which is great because rather than it being competition, everybody kind of works together but mm -hmm. is sustained. So yeah. Nice. yeah. What uh, Do you have any, one or two memories that stick out from recent weddings that you were here for and present for? Of, uh, aside from the Mardi Gras event, <laughs> uh, what are some interest, other interesting stories you have from the wedding business? Um, we had a wedding reception that went on for eight straight hours. That was, <laughs> uh, there is so much to having a party, <laughs> and there's so much to, uh, it's getting long. It's been here forever. It's like, but, when are these people going to collapse? Exactly. Why, why aren't you sleeping yet? And it, 
it, it's a, one of those things that I'm the bride, I want the bride to make an exit. I've always encouraged the bride, make sure you're not the last one here. Mm -hmm. I had one bride that was helping pick up flowers off the off the tables. So I said, stop, I'll it's do like, it. It's your day. <laughs> exactly. Leave, enjoy we yourself. We worked so hard to yeah. get to this point. Now you're you're stressing. You need to relax and go. Yeah, so. definitely. Well, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Good. Keep them in line. Yes. Yeah. We had one wedding that they um, snuck a dog in <gasps> as a ring bearer. Oh, but we had net weddings next door to each other. And the, the ring bearer from that room came over here and ran through this wedding, <laughs> wedding reception. <laughs> so that's a good memory. That's <laughs> different and funny. Just lucky that everybody was laughing about it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, great. Well, we'll be right back. We're going to tour the facility, and we're here in Moorhead at the Moorhead Conference Center with Joy Brown. We'll see you soon. So tell us a little bit about what you like best about the wedding business. A little bit of everything, to be honest, <laughs> because you see some, you have those bridezillas and you have those not so bridezillas. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's something, my memories of weddings, but there's some that you don't forget memories that they bring to you. You don't forget, you feel like you're part of their family by the time it's all said and done. Yeah. And those are the special moments when you're taking tissue boxes to the mother of the bride in the Aww. middle of the wedding. I, I've taught myself tearing up over people I don't even know, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I'm part of their family. <laughs> and we usually put the dance floor, we have a portable dance floor we'll put right down in front of the stage. Oh, great. And so they can rock on with the band or be right <laughs> next to the head's table. So. Yeah, does it have that typical parquet look? It does, it does. We almost opted for the black and white, but the parquet just, it matched our floor and it just seemed like it was the perfect fit for here. Okay. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And this looks like, is this uh, maple or ash? This is um, actually ash, and this came from our local, we are known for the hardwood capital as well. So this oh, wow. is this is all from, all from Moorhead, Kentucky, so. Oh, that's great. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> yeah, a little piece of Moorhead we're standing on. <laughs> yeah. Well, and now that we're up here, I think we should perform. Uh, do you feel like singing anything? Yeah. Or? Um, I'd like, no. <laughs> <laughs> So, Joy, I noticed out in the hallway there was a bench with a drawing of a barn with a quilt on the side. Could you explain a little bit about that related to tourism in the area? Yes, it's a great tourist draw. Um, the Foothills Quilt Trail is what it's called. People put these squares on their homes, on their barns, and there is an actual map that people can get here at the tourism office and drive around in our county and learn a little bit about the county while looking for the quilt squares. Kind of a geocaching neat. kind of thing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And then you said there are also benches around town? Yes, um, Lexington is known for the horses around town and we're known for the benches around town. Oh, okay. So local artists will paint benches and then they'll donate them to um, the courthouse, to here, you know, public facilities so that people can enjoy them. That's great. Yeah. yeah. 
and you know, so many facilities always have uh, new and interesting nuances and changes coming. Do you have anything coming up in the next year or two that your facility is going to be working on or something new or different? Um, something new or different, I would say um, our main focus will probably be on more uh, the larger trade shows that we're going to do uh, to um, attract fishing and attract um, outdoor activities. We're also in the process of becoming a trail town. So this is through the state, so we're going to attract hikers and bikers. And oh, cool. You never know, they may want to get married here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've always got that in the back of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's smart. They can do everything here, just exactly. stay here. Come yes, here. yes. <laughs> Chapel right here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, there's so much character here in Moorhead. Um, do you ever see some of that come around with the decorations or centerpieces that people have at their weddings or other events? I, I do a lot of MSU colors for Moorhead state. Um, people use that a lot with with all every part of their decorations. Um, I've had brides wear um, blue sashes with yellow shoes, you know, just to say I'm an MSU graduate. Um, a little country comes in every once in a while with the, uh, you know, the old-fashioned where they uh, use wagon wheels and, mm -hmm. you know, the burlap and things that you see a lot of now, just a different flair to it, so. That's really, have you seen people go the complete opposite way and just do highly stylized weddings? Um, I have some coming up in September that they are using some really cool fabrics that oh, I would really? never think, you know, to, to incorporate, but they're very, very subtle colors and they're getting to where they're just doing um, hors d'oeuvres, they're not doing full dinners, just to make people mingle and talk and mm -hmm. enjoy each other. Yeah. <laughs> this is an odd question, but do you tend to see more daytime weddings or evening weddings here? Um, I have seen more evening weddings because uh, people are traveling. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've been very shocked that I've seen as many of I, as I have. I had a couple this year that have been married during the day. Uh, they left and came back for reception later that night. Oh, neat. So I always thought of it as all goes all together. You know, Definitely. you have your wedding, you have your reception, but it's a little different. <laughs> so. <laughs> and you work through the week wearing several different hats. You're here most Saturdays when there's a wedding. Do you ever rest? Well, there's very few people who can say they have a $9 million home. <laughs> so I've got a cot in my office now. <laughs> no, I, have, I am well, well aware that I've put my heart into this building. And I feel like that's that's what I was meant to do is, is make this building a success. And I think we have we've mastered that. We've had averaged about four hundred thousand people in the buildings in six years. Wow. So we we market everybody that comes through kinda of giving us a, a lot of estimates, but pretty good figures as far as four hundred thousand people. So I think we've accomplished what we meant to do. So um, yes, this is my $9 million home. I'm a celebrity of Moorhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. We're honored to be visiting with a celebrity today. Yes. This is great. You may hear thank my name sometimes. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry there's no couches. <laughs> Comfy chairs. That's yes. always good. Yes. Now, this room, I noticed it was named after Collins. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Brad Collins was our mayor, um, uh, actually a mayor ago. Um, he was very instrumental in making this uh, making this happen, come to fruition. Great. Um, there was a lot of people on the board that wanted this building to be here. Um, it was a tool meant for tourism, and it's become a well well rounded tool. <laughs> <laughs> Great, and you're talking about trying to bring in uh, some other trade shows mm -hmm. and the fishing, wildlife. Uh, will we ever see a gun show here? You'll see a gun show. You'll see a gun show every once in a while. Okay. <laughs> we like tool shows, and we've had houseboats in here. Oh, wow. I don't ask how we got them in here. I know. But... I'm looking at the doors and thinking, <laughs> how do you do that? Uh, here we are. Yes. Uh, Giant doors. It's strategic. <laughs> <laughs> but we got them in here, but we've had houseboats and horse trailers and a little bit of everything. So yeah. any, nothing is not possible. <laughs> <laughs> and your bridal show on October 6th, is admission free for that? Uh-huh. Admission is free. Give away some great prizes. We usually have a band on site um, performing in here. Um, we try to open up the whole building, but we kind of set it a different way every time just to give everybody a feel for what, what the endless possibilities are for this empty space. So. Yeah, and there's probably going to be at least one or two wedding cake people here maybe giving away uh, free wedding cake samples. To and is it? Why? What? I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> well, on my side job, I've started candy stations. So in my free time. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So that's going to, I'm going to be setting up a booth. This will be the first time I'll be doing the conference center booth and my own booth. So we'll yeah. see if I'm 
okay by the time the show's over. Yeah. <laughs> so you do candy stations? Uh -huh. Is that where you have uh -huh. the different jars? with the Right, right. I I've only seen that at one wedding, but I loved it. I thought uh, it was excellent. Sweets are my favorite, so why not do something <laughs> I enjoy? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, so when you do those, uh, what are one or two typical arrangements that when you do a, a candy arrangement, what do those look like? Um, the first thing to do is ask the colors of the wedding because then that becomes the strategic part, trying to find the candy that matches the wedding. But um, we've done a little bit of um, those cake pops that everybody mm -hmm. likes so well. Those have been popular, um, rock candy's popular, so. Yeah, what are the Moorhead State College colors? Blue and, it's blue and gold. It's more of a yellowish, but it's blue and gold is our actual color, so. Okay, and yeah. have you had to do any candy to match up with that yet? Not yet, but I do make, gonna make that one of my features at the bridal show, just to Great. give some ideas. Oh, well that'd be neat to <laughs> see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good deal. Um, well, we appreciate you visiting with us. We have had so much fun. Thank you for showing us around. All right, thank you for coming. Great. All right. And we will be back with more of the bridal show after this. Finally, a television show for brides in the bluegrass. Now that you're engaged, it's time to begin the process of planning your wedding. And that's where we come in. Each episode of the bridal show features the very best local wedding professionals, including interviews and interactive demonstrations of the services they offer. Our show is a wonderful way to see the latest fashions and make the process of planning your special day much easier. The Bridal Show. Only on WTVQ, Channel 36.